warning, if you are a snowflake and get easily offended by certain jokes or things said, this isn't the channel for you. And you have been warned at the start of this video. <laughs> no, Enjoy, no, no, no. Alright, first things first. First thing is first. One, I'm having a terrible hair day. It feels nappy, hasn't brushed it, it's crusty. I tried to record this earlier and... It just went wrong. Made me wanna kill I ate five guys, not sponsored, and I'm back. Andrew Tate has been banned. <laughs> banned off the internet. He's been banned off the internet. But why? Why, Mini Clint? Why has Mr. Tate Top G been banned? Did he really deserve his ban? I don't know. But that's why we're here. And that's why you're watching. Shut up, bitch. Right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Mini Clint channel. How you guys doing? How you guys been? You guys are only be sure to subscribe and put on all notifications so you guys don't miss a single Mini Clint video. Let's edit more facts. I ain't said that in a while, but hey, play the intro. <laughs> Andrew Tate, we all know Andrew Tate, and if you don't know who Andrew Tate is, you probably don't go on the internet, use the internet as much, or you ain't one of these people. Commentate W. That's literally a commentate W. Losers. So Andrew Tate is some random guy that went viral this entire summer by just stating his opinion on certain topics that um, are very touchy. And also, he went viral with the help of the worst app on the entire internet, TikTok. <laughs> As much as TikTok is a cringe piece of crap, okay, it does help people get clout, get viral. You know what I'm saying? It helps you get discovered nowadays because YouTube don't do that anymore. They be recommended crappy shows and, oh, we're pregnant videos. Okay, okay. No. You're pregnant. No one cares that a family channel is pregnant for the eighth time so they can use them for money on YouTube. We don't care, you. We do not care. It is Saturday, the 20th of August, and Andrew Tate got banned from the internet yesterday. When I mean the internet, he got banned from Instagram. He got banned from Instagram and Facebook. <laughs> Why did Mr. Tate get banned off Instagram and Facebook? Well, we're going to find out. So basically, what I've got today is I have an article, a video of him reacting to him getting banned. My last video I reacted to some Andrew Tate moments and I even reacted to a video of, of him basically Indiana Jones whipping his girl. <laughs> so that got leaked on the internet and what we're gonna react to is the girl's response to it. Oh shit. There is many reasons why this man could probably get banned. I don't know the reason yet, but that's why we're making this video. He could either get banned for that video, okay? He could get banned, cause I've heard a lot of stuff about Andrew Tate. I've heard like, Trafficking rumors and shit. Nigga, what? I've heard some crazy stuff. But we don't know why he got banned, but we're about to find out. Alright, so without further ado, I'm gonna put my headphones in because we're gonna react to some videos. But without further ado, let's read this article and then after everything, um, I'm gonna give my take on it. Controversial influencer Andrew Tate banned from Facebook and Instagram. The decision has been hailed by a number of campaign groups which claim Mr. Tate poses a genuine threat to young people. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop you right there, BBC News. Okay, let me just stop you right there. So let me get this straight. Listen, we haven't read the article yet. Please don't tell me you banned this man off his takes. Because let's be real, bro. It would make more sense if you banned him, no joke, off the video. Like, it makes no sense. Controversial Andrew Tate has been planned from Facebook and Instagram for violating its policies around dangerous individuals. Their parent company, Meta, has said. The hell is Meta? <laughs> I thought this was Facebook and Insta- Okay, whatever. Um, Mr. Tate's official accounts have been removed from social media platforms and he will not be allowed to create new ones, Meta added. Who is Meta? The kickboxer rose to fame in 2016 after appearing on reality TV show Big Brother, worst show ever. Actually, you know what? I'd probably, I've, I'd watch that either Love Island. Love Island is a piece of shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> and Boomer removed from the program after a video surfaced online which appeared to show him attacking a woman with a belt. As much as I love to clickbait and as much as I love to make videos, yo, saying he's attacking a woman without knowing the context, okay, is kind of crazy. Like, you see me 
In my video, I just said the Andrew Tate video that leaked was scary. I didn't say he was attacking her. I didn't say anything. I asked what the context was. BBC News is just straight up saying he attacked her. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. BBC News, by the way, legit news source. He claimed the clip had been edited. Okay. <laughs> really? Okay, Andrew Tate, we all know that. Like, I'm just gonna be honest, boys. I saw the Reddit video. Like, I saw it on Reddit. Bro, that was a straight up video. There was no edits in that, bro. There's no edits. Like, let, okay, let's not let's not deny the fact whether whatever the context is. Okay, you were whipping. It. Okay, whatever. I don't care what you say. You was whipping a bitch with a, probably a fucking Ferragamo belt. <laughs> Since then, he gained further notoriety. Did I say that word right? Don't know. Online for his outrageous and offensive comments, including some in which he suggested women bear some responsibility for being assaulted. Yo, I don't hate Andrew Tate, but like his outrageous and offensive comments. I mean, I've seen some clips of him. He kind of just says he's take. Like whether you get offended by that, it's just kind of, that's on you, my nigga. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Before his Instagram account was removed, he had racked up more than 4 million followers. The multi-millionaire also runs an online pyramid scheme called Hustlers University, which claims to teach people how to make money. Oh, okay, goddamn. Respectfully, how do you know it's a pyramid scheme? Okay, like, let's be real. Okay, let's fucking be real. It probably is, all right? But, like, you don't even know that. You just see it, and obviously you see Andrew Tate popular, so you're like, fuck it, he, he runs his pyramid scheme. Imagine, let's just say in a magical world, okay, that Andrew Tate had a fucking scheme to get you rich. And then you have BBC News basically saying it's a pyramid scheme, even though it isn't. That's kind of crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Tate posts a, a genuine threat. A number of campaign groups have criticized Mr. Tate for his views and warned he was a danger to young men and boys who you who see... His content online. What? How is he a danger to young men and boys? Women's safety charity Re Refugees said Meta had made the right decision. Of course they're gonna say that. They're not gonna like this guy whether he's telling the truth or not. This is the kind of decisive action needed to tackle the online radic radicalization. I don't know what that means. I, I don't even know if I said it right. Of young men towards a violently misogynistic worldview. The organization's chief executive, Ruth Davidson, said. That's how you can. That's all I'm reading from this article. I'm gonna be honest, boys. Let me give you my take just off this article right now. Just off this article. All right. If Andrew Tate got banned from freedom of speech, the world is fucking done. I'm sorry. Because that's what it seems like. It seems like Andrew Tate didn't even get banned. Like, I feel like they just threw in that alleged video. That video of him attacking his girl is kind of crazy, right? But, like, you're not even going after just that one video. You're going off basically his takes. People should have freedom of speech, bro. And that's why I feel like this world is just getting really fucking shit. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to watch is we're going to watch Andrew Tate's Reaction to him getting banned. You know what I'm saying? Let me see Andrew Tate's reaction. I have good people on the case. I trust due process with Instagram. I'm actually quite understanding of their position. I do understand it very, very well. I'm not angry okay. at them in any regard. Okay. Uh, it's not a big loss for me. It's not something I use too often. Only fucking people on the internet that really want this man off the fucking internet is fucking women and very insecure people that don't know how to deal with the truth. Like, or I just don't know how to deal with somebody saying something they don't like. Let's just be real. The main platform you had is banned, but then people are still going to be sharing these clips on Instagram. Let's be real. But I do understand their position because we're actually living in a world now where it's kind of strange. This is an unprecedented period of human history. And we have internet sensationalism, global sensationalism on a scale which has never happened before. And also, we have the ability to edit things so quickly. I'm sorry, I have to say this, bro. I find it so funny how basically the moment Andrew Tate got banned, because I saw he was streaming this, bro. Like, the moment Andrew Tate got banned off the internet, bro, Aiden Ross over here is the first one to get him on his platform. It's smart, but it's actually cringe at the same time. You can say something on a stream and they can remove all context, or you can say something and they can change the tone of your voice, or you can I've say seen, something. I, yeah, I've, it's already happened to me many times, yes. Exactly. And then what they can do is they can throw that in front of a hate mob and then internet sensationalism can take control and people can start to believe in narratives which are false and then people have to take some kind of action against that. I'm a strongly religious man. I believe that God will prevail. Okay. The truth will prevail. Right. I mean, it has nothing to do with you getting banned, but go on. I mean, because a lot of people have been insulting me for a long time on okay. all platforms. And that's fine. It really doesn't bother me because I'm an extremely strong person. I know that some people would be very, very uncomfortable in my position. Not many people can sleep at night with the kind of death threats I've been getting. But for me, it's been fine, right? Um, and they would take no action, even if I reported them. However, they've now decided I'm the danger. Bruh. Instagram aren't going to really give a fuck if 
let's just say Jimmy right now is in my DMs talking about Mini Clint, off yourself, I fucking hate you. Now, if I go say that in front of my audience, okay, I'm probably going to get banned. Because let's be real, boys, no one gives a fuck who Jimmy is. You know what I'm saying? No one cares who he is. He's irrelevant. His mum probably doesn't even love him. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> Now, if you didn't watch my last video, which was this video, Andrew Tate allegedly attacked his girlfriend, which I go now going to find out. Okay. Hello, everyone. Um, I just wanted to say. Am I tripping or does she low key look like Lady Gaga? <laughs> Andrew Tate's ex girlfriend speaks about the beating video. What do you think about the video that's been released recently about me and my ex boyfriend, Andrew Tate? Okay. Andrew is my still great friend we used to do it was just pure game he's a great guy he would never hurt anyone i mean he is a kickboxer so stop the cap unless he's fighting <laughs> yeah exactly okay that was her response so basically long story short boys here's my take his ex-girlfriend who was in the video has cleared up she wasn't hurt and it was consensual and she fucking they were just on some freaky deaky bondage shit. so why is andrew tate being bad that's what I don't understand. I don't think Andrew Tate should be banned. I'm being honest. If you've got a problem for Andrew Tate, make a video about it. Leave a comment or something. No one will care. But hey, you might as well. I think Andrew Tate cares about this video I'm making right now. But guess what, bitch? I'm making money off this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm making this for my viewers. They care about seeing my reaction about it. Boys, if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you guys are new. I'll see you guys next time in the next video. I'm out. I cannot follow these niggas. I cannot follow these bitches. I'm trying to get my rest, big up. They see me, they're like, hey, this is a nigga.